4th of November 1922. 4th of November, my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But it's not 1922, of course. Yeah. I'm younger than this. <laughs> 4th of November 1922 was the discovery of the first step led to other six steps, led to the seeming passage, anti-chamber, annex, burial chamber and treasury room of King Tut and Kaman. Tut and Kaman, Yun Receipt, his name. Tut and Kaman, in English, in American, King Tut, you know. 1361 until 1352. The king who ruled nine years and now he's the most famous pharaoh. It's his destiny. But to be honest, I'm a man of science as well. History. Tutankhamun is nothing. Is nothing compared to the other his tomb size, one of the smallest tombs in the King's Valley. Next to his tomb, or very close to his tomb, Ramses is the great tomb, more than 12 times in size. Ramses V and Ramses VI, 10 times in size. But they were discovered empty. This one was discovered with more, uh, more than 5,200 pieces of artifacts. Most of them, they are made of gold. Yes. But as I told you before, and I'm repeating now, this tomb is not intact, almost intact, it wasn't intact, it was robbed twice. But the robbers of the tombs weren't stupid to leave the gold, but they took the most valuable treasures. The highest valued treasures were oils and perfumes, we know that. Second, linen. Third, the gold, it wasn't robbed for the third time, only twice. But you will be amazed when I tell you that the one who saved, the one who closed and hid from the robbers of the tombs was Hur Muhab. Hur Muhab, I mentioned two names down there. People pushed or forced Tutankhamun to change religion, to change his name. The high priest and the general of the army. Hur Muhab was the general of the army. Hur Muhab, he showed me, and, or he showed us, how grateful he was to his majesty. Even if his majesty wasn't the man of power, he was grateful to him, thankful. And when Hur Muhib, he got the power, the tomb of his majesty was robbed, or the former king was robbed, so he had to close with his own seals. So it was robbed twice during his time, but he saved it. So also we should be grateful to him. So. He didn't have any case. Tutankhamun, his wife, she was pregnant twice. She miscarried the, the, the fetus. Tutankhamun, he passed away when he was 18. He got the power when he was nine years and a half. Until 18 years and a few months. So, he uh, passed away, he had no kids, and he was the last man of Queen Hatshepsut's bloodline. Yes. The antechamber is clear that it was robbed. This part is empty that used to be full of treasures. The boxes for linen clothes, we found them empty. Except one shirt, two underwear, four or five pairs of gloves and socks. But the rest, the kilt, everything was stolen. The alabaster collection, we found it empty. Even inside the belly of the chamber, we found it was opened. The outermost shrine was opened. The beautiful, the most beautiful jar we found of alabaster that had the lotus oil, we found it empty. So the robbers of the tombs, they didn't take the bottle. They didn't take the fancy bottles. Yeah, they had only their bags. These ones are heavy. They want to get more oil, so they poured the oil. They left the bottles for us to be shown here, you will see and they took the oil to be used.